Hey friends, every once in a while somebody will tell me they want to learn a song and I'm like, hey, don't I already know all the good songs? Why would you want to impose that on me? <laughs> and it turns out I end up really liking it. Like, uh, I remember when kids brought in a CD, hey man, there's a new band you got to check out. I'm like, what are they called? Green Day. I'm like, Green Day. And they played a Green Day song. I go, hey, that sounds like the that sounds like the Clash. Have you ever heard of the Clash? No. Okay. Yeah, Green Day's pretty good. So I've learned, you know, my students teach me what's hip. All right. One of my great students told me about uh, the song by the Neanderthals called "Girl on the Moon." And uh, hey, I'm into it, man. This is a great song by Eddie Angel. Um, I'm gonna try to show you. It's got like uh, three big parts, or maybe four. Well, let's find out. The first part is this. Which is as simple as you can get and wonderful. So that's your third fret, first string, three, zero, three, zero, then go to second string, same thing, go to third string, two, zero, two, zero, two, zero, fourth string, two, zero, and then you do an E minor, and you lift up your fingers, and you do that two times. Pretty good. Then you go up high, you do the same lick up at the fifth fret, like five and eight, like this. This is A minor. So that's eight, five, eight, five, eight, five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, open A, then strum an A minor chord. Pick up your fingers. So let's do those two parts together. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> kind of like this sort of some just reminds you of jazz or something it's just super cool I'll clear it I'll clean that up all right so that's the tricky part I'll I've got it written out in tablature so we've got a 0, 1, 2 on the big string. Okay, now you're going to put a chord together. That chord is pretty important. It's an F sharp minor 7 flat 5. So I said, you know, we're welcome to the science lab here. But it, it just, it's going to drop, you know, your fingers are just going to fall into place. This really looks like an, an F sharp plus an A minor. You're just going to use different fingers at the second fret, the, the middle and pinky. So what you got here, once you get to the chord, it's going to be two, skip the A string, two, two on the fourth and third strings. So that's then your index finger, first string, or second string, first fret. So you roll up there, okay, now ring and pinky are just going to land on the 4th and 3rd string 2nd fret. Pretty cool, that's a good shape to know, you can do this. Then your open B string, add your index, let's do it again, this is pretty important.
one more time. Then you're going to play a B7 chord. I'm hitting the four middle strings on the guitar, so that's a two, one, two, zero. Uh, zero. A B, D sharp, A, and a B. And you, you don't punch it, but you kind of arpeggiate it quickly. Then play the third string second fret, which you're still holding. All right, this section. Third string, second fret. Now go to E minor. So that's, I'm gonna hold an E minor. I think that's right. You got your zero two, I believe. Unless it's a, it might be a rhythm guitar hitting that. But I'm gonna, I'm just gonna call it as. It could be. Let's skip that two and just go. And then we're gonna hit a C nine. Ninth chords. A very basic chord you must know. That's your middle finger on the C. 3rd fret, 5th string, index finger on the E, 2nd fret, 4th string, and your ring finger lays flat across the 3 skinny strings at 3rd fret. Most of my students don't practice ninth chords and they're shocked every time they come up. You got to get over that. Okay, this is just a real basic chord. I think you're hitting the 4 middle strings, so this section. Now it gets a little tricky here. You got to hit the C note here. Let's do it again. Okay, I think we're going to hold E minor here and just go. That's G A B. Open G. Uh, pinky on the A, open B. Then we gotta jump to that C9, then that C note, second string, first fret. Then you're gonna do this chord, which is like that F sharp minor seven flat five, except you've got an open B string. So that's a two, 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 two on the sixth string, two on the fourth string, two on the third string, open B. Then you hit a B7, complete B7 chord. B7, two, one, two, zero. B B D sharp, B, uh, excuse me, B, D sharp, A, B, F sharp. So that's that middle part, let's do it one more time. got this cool part, check this out. That's cool. So that's your zero and five. Hit it three times. E, e plus E. Then an E flat plus an E. Then double open strings. Five 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 four 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 zero zero three 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 two 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 two. Repeat. And then uh, you got this kind of like spy riff. That's zero, three, three, 
two, three. That's low E, G, C, B, G, E, G, C, B, G, E, G, C, B, G. Then go one string over to the A, same thing. Back to E. Then we got uh, I haven't written that out yet, but um, so start over. So uh, let's check that riff again. Man, that's a good part. And then we're back into right on. So that's the main parts of the song. Girl on the Moon by the Neanderthals in space from Spin Out Records. You can stream it. Look it up on uh, YouTube or whatever. Wow. It's incredible. It's great. It's a super good album. I wonder if you could get that on vinyl. Wow. Anyway, if you're a collector, uh, try to buy that or, you know, stream it. Who knows? The Neanderthals could come to your town to play sometime. If you're, <laughs> if you play your cards right. That it, it could happen. It's not impossible. It's unlikely, but uh, it would be awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for uh, hanging out. If you need, I could take a picture of what I wrote out. I need to ink it in a little better, and I could uh, text it to you if you like. Let me know if you'd like that. And uh, I hope you enjoy uh, Girl on the Moon. Look it up, it's cool.